All right, it's great to see everybody. Um, my name is Hodge Flemings, and I want to talk about Rebrand Black. There's a lot of conversation and a lot of things that have taken place. George Floyd was murdered. And it was a moment in time because everybody was at home. And so that wasn't the first time that a black man was, whose life was taken and it goes back to police brutality. And when that happened, I really began to think um, is this moment that we have, is it only going to be, we're having this conversation about do our lives matter? And so I began to think about, and even at an even different level, what do we want in this moment? What do we want in this time? So I began to think about what is the narrative around black? What does it mean? What does it mean to us as a community? What does it mean to the world? And so I began to think about this. So, um, so Rebrand Black evolved into a series of conversations, conversations around Black genius, around Black innovation, around Black culture. So if you look at the word Black from a scientific definition, the scientist looks at black as being the absence of. So from a scientific standpoint, black is basically invisible because um, they look at it as it's the absence of color. It's, it's just the absence. And I'm sure I haven't totally defined black the correct way, but, but from a scientific definition, that's how it's viewed. If you look at black as a color, there's a different perspective because you're pulling in all colors. And so as we begin to think about this moment, if we walk away and brands and society and people just post a black box online saying that I support, then I think we've missed the entire moment. And so, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to I want to create this time capsule. I want to create these conversations. I want to have some tough conversations. I wanted to talk to creatives and talk to thought leaders and talk to C-level execs and talk to people who are a part of the culture, whether they're black or not. And so that's what Rebrand Black is all about. And so these conversations, as we think about black culture, from a, from a culture standpoint, black culture impacts popular culture. It impacts almost every facet of life because there's so much that's extracted from the black experience. So the black experience is over 400 years old. I've seen a lot of people online after, after the death of George Floyd on March, on May 25th, on May 25th. I saw a lot of people say that they're tired. And they were saying this a weekend or maybe a month after. And I can understand that if that conversation might be something that you're like, I don't wanna hear any more of that. Imagine people who live through a series of disappointments of over 400 years. Is the playing field level? No, it's not. Um, are there things that as a community that we could do better? Absolutely. I think there are things that we're responsible for. But when we now start to talk about rebrand, like I, I, wanna, I wanna reframe this conversation. And I wanna reframe it from the standpoint of versus this just being um, another thing where brands, and cities and people extract everything from our community, what does it look like when we're able to now use this moment as a catalyst so that we can now look at how can we start to work with organizations 
in these cities that are that are ran by black and brown people. Um, if brands are looking to connect to movements and things, there are grassroots organizers and activists and people doing amazing work and having an opportunity to work directly with them. Maybe people that you've never worked with before. So instead of us looking at, let's pull everything from the black experience and black culture. When I think about my community, I think about the ultimate consumer. Uh, our spend, our buying power is about 1.4, between 1.3 to $1.4 trillion, but we own nothing. What we are is that we are the ultimate consumer. Every brand loves us. We make everything hot, but we own no platforms. And so these conversations, what I want them to do is to evoke change. I want it to evoke opportunities. I want it to bring, hopefully bring people together and to start looking at how can we make a difference? What does a difference look like? The difference to me is there's a lack of representation inside of corporations, big and small. We need more women. We need more people of color. More specifically, we need to have more black representation. Now, am I talking about mismatching a, per, uh, a black person or, or a woman in a position that they're not qualified for? Absolutely not, because it hurts that person and it hurts the organization. What I am saying, though, is that there are qualified individuals who don't even get an opportunity to even be considered. So James Andrews said this, and he got this quote from someone, but I think it's so powerful. He said, we're typically the oil, but we're never the machine. So we're typically the talent, but we're not the machine that runs the thing. And so I want to challenge all of us, corporations, big and small, cities, individuals, to now let's reframe black. Let's reframe the black experience. And let's make sure that this moment that we're in right now, that we don't lose. That we don't just post a black box and say, hey, I've done my part. Do I have all the answers? No. Um, do I want to be a part of the solution? Absolutely. Um, are we building this thing kind of in the air? Yes. But this is a moment where we have a chance to be able to, um, to, be able to say, hey, look, let's raise our hand. Let's figure out what we can do as a collective. So Rebrand Black is a series of conversations. It's part of a conference. And hopefully this is a catalyst to where we now start to uh, reimagine what a world looks like where everybody is invited, where we have a chance to be able to look at what does this look like? And I just want to be one of the voices, but we have some amazing voices. We have Alicia Jeffries, who's the senior vice president of marketing for the Detroit Pistons. Uh, we have Paul Stewart, who, um, who is an amazing voice from Crenshaw. He just put out a video, a trailer that is called The White Boy from Crenshaw, who's worked with Cypress Hill, Coolio. And basically the stuff he's worked on is the soundtrack of my college life. Um, where work, we talked to Inc. One, who's a muralist, who did a mural of Nipsey and Kobe. Um, we've talked with David Lewis, who is uh, the president of AT&T Michigan, uh, an activist and artist in Jessica Care Moore. Um, Deontay Tompkins, uh, who is working with Thrivent, uh, a financial faith-based organization. And so there's a series of other people that we're talking to, um, but this is really about reframing what it means to be black in black culture and making sure that this moment is not lost. My name is Hodge Flemings and this is Rebrand Black. <laughs>